This video is uh, dedicated to exploring the apps that are already uh, existing and let's see, click on the link more apps takes us to the GitHub and here we see the list of the apps built on the solid platform. Um, we've got some personal data apps, some sample tutorial apps, some social media, and a game. So I was tinkering around with this before I started the video um, and I just want to go through each one, one by one, to see what they do. Let's see, that's another one, requires power. So let's take about a look at the live one. And that one is inactive at from there. the inbox that's the one it is already available so is that B card I was just wondering if I could change it um, we have the solid sign up app uh, it gives our configuration okay what's this warp File browser. Uh, doesn't seem. It's probably one that's already there. Profile editor. Now this one I thought was interesting. Uh, I tried to install Bower, and when I did, it said that the Bower is out of date and uh, it suggested either Webpack or Yarn. Um, there was a third one in there. So, this wants our web ID. I'm going to go copy and paste that. And there is my public profile. So, at some point, figure out how to get more information up there. Maybe a picture, edit profile. So, the Ah, here we go. Interesting. So, I can add a personal home page. Would that be my website? Okay. Does it save it? Put this information in public profile for me. And uh, it just says cancel. Oh, I see. Okay, so which one? I'll do public profile. Could not update. Okay, so if I refresh it, does it go away? It does. So what happens if I do that and go Nope, still couldn't update it. Okay. Uh, we've got work page, blog. Maybe it doesn't like the typical URL. Would this one work? Oops. Click out of it. Nope, okay. All right, but still. Oh, and we can change the photo. So, let's go try that. No, did not like that. Okay. Let's try this again. Try it under that one. Nope. Oh, you even get a, uh, a uh, background banner as well. Okay, so that feels pretty familiar to most of us. Um, similar to the Facebook, you get your profile picture and then you get your background photo. But there is a lot that is still to be desired. So let's 
bring up the GitHub and I'll show you what I meant. prop and we got the profile editor it wasn't the the game all right so let's see if Bauer still gives me that same error Did I? Now, last time, that's all I did was I just copied and pasted it. Oh, just tightened power. All right, so maybe that's why. What is this supposed to be? Oh, just gives the commands. Okay, because it had already installed it. Alright, so... So open the index.html in your browser. Or do it from bash. When I tried to open it in my browser, it just took me to a Google search result. So... If I can do that in bash... And it does not like that. So what if I just did index.html? No, command not found. All right, so again, something I am probably doing incorrectly. What if I do it here? Open work fingers index. Or is it .html? New. Oh! <laughs> well, there we go. Alright, so that's how you needed to do it. So, not in Bash, but in the GitHub desktop uh, command window. So, I want to try that one more time just because that made me feel good. Ah! There we go. Okay, still doesn't give me. Anything gives me the option to edit, uh, people you know. I know nobody. I am so lonely. Uh, edit profile. No, log in. No, no. Okay. So, I imagine that you would have to go and code a bunch of stuff for yourself and run it on there. Okay, that'll be something fun to look into. So let's move on. Anyway, <clears throat> let's check out the Solid Clip, the demo app. Alright, running live here. Let's check out the live version. And there's nothing there. I can't log in. And I, okay, databox.me is being retired. I'll come. So, just so you know, so I don't bore you with all of this, it actually does that for all three of these. And again, I wasn't sure if maybe it was just because there was a something going on last night or what. So, yep. Okay, let's go through this. Maybe there is something that I can change, but it says it's being retired. So that's a little on the confusing side. 
and check out the live video. I liked some of the screenshots. Uh, he's definitely, Melvin's using Ubuntu over on this side. And it gives a lot of technical information. So, yeah, definitely go check that out. What's Simba, the micro blogging app? Alright, basically it tells us a little about its decentralized microblogging. And hmm, it says here that if you don't like Simba or if there's a better web app that you want to use, you just need to replace the web app. Um so that should be easy to change once it gets up and running. Uh should give you a lot of choice in the very near future. 100% decentralized, free application, specific backends. And that goes into the details of it. So, Dokieli, what's that? Oh, that's the one that's already on there, right? or Dokieli, however you pronounce it. Yeah, that's that one right there. Alright, so maybe there's some technical information. Oh, we've got some screencasts. Let's check those out. Alright, so this one will get you some basic information on what you can do. Ah, so it's like having your own website or Google Docs, very similar to it, including locally offline static hosting. You can save articles to your personal data store and edit in place, annotate, reply to and share articles, get notifications, add identifiers and semantic markup to any concept. Embed live data, scripts, stats, and multimedia. Anyone can tweak, clone, and remix your articles. Ooh, that ought to be interesting. I mean, that happens now anyway with article spinners, but uh, that still could be fun. Uh, let your readers choose a view that suits them, so personalize their themes. Um, and open source and undergoing ongoing envelopment. Envelopment? Development. And... Try it now. Oh, okay. So this is what it is supposed to look like. Oh, very simple design. I like that it is very, very simple. So we've got your table of contents over here. Get your features, write and publish. Oh. Write and publish. Some more information back there. Annotations and replies, notifications. So this is what it would look like if you actually had a bunch of friends on there with you. Curious, can I sign in? Oops. Is that my copy? Ah, hey, it connected me. All right, live long and prosper. That's cute. That's really cute. Oh, that was lo <laughs> locking me out. Oh, I should have known that. All right, uh, so share. Ah, so share a resource, add from contacts. Um, can send it to them. Send a note. If you need to reply to someone. Okay the URL. Let's see a review. Uh, bye bye review. No review. It doesn't like review. Okay, so what's activities? And does not like activities. What about new? Create a new document. It'd be my URL, location of media resources. 
Use reference as is or copy to your storage. Next document will be saved at example. Can I change? Oh, can I? I don't think I can change that, can I? No. What happens is create. Nope. Can't fetch it. Okay. What about open? Oh, let's close those out. Open. Open a local file. What happens if I try to, let's say, open that? And nope, okay. Let's go to save. Server doesn't allow resource to be written. Save as, set inbox. Okay, memento. Memento doesn't give us anything. Version doesn't allow this resource to be written. Uh, immutable, nope. Internet archive, oh, archiving in progress. What am I archiving? Unavailable, all right, export. Oh, <laughs> well, I exported something down there at the bottom. Is that just the actual web page? Hmm. Okay, yeah, I see. All right, check it now. Let's see. Edit, edit, source. You can view the source code. Embed data. Got your turtle, your JSON, your triage, local storage. Nothing, okay. So what's this? Graph. Oh. That's interesting. What is it going to do? I can click and drag the bubbles. But that's about it. And nope. Okay, so I guess that would probably be my contacts or something, or all my links. Everything that's linking to my data. Basic. It's changing the background of that. Oh. Well, that's interesting. And that graph. I'm not sure what the graph has to do with anything. It would be interesting to find out. Can you go back to the wand? No. Alright, so if you're interested in the documentation, there's a chat available. I definitely want to tinker around with this some more because it does seem like fun. And uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, I don't think we need to go too in depth on that aspect of it. Alright, so the meeting scheduler, that is already there and available. Uh, move to pane. Uh, refactor me to use the pane. So let's give it a try. Okay, so there's no ability to try it there. It's a solid app, allows you to store your data where you want, and control who gets it. In control of your data, the GitHub for a solid specification. Okay, so there's nothing that we can do with that particular one. Right now, let's go to pad. We already know that that's already in the uh, in your um, network. Let's see, your files are at and these are 
Mr. Berners Lee's pad, and there's nothing there. Yeah, it's read only. There are no files there. Okay. So let's go to Plume. Ah, another blogging platform using solid standards. You can host the application on any web server without having to install anything. No database, no messing around with Node.js, and it has zero dependencies. It also means that other similar applications will be able to reuse the data resulting from your posts without having to go through a complicated API. It uses Markdown, which is nice. Um, you can use the data box.me storage. Yeah, that one's going bye-bye, so they'll have to update that. It gives a lot of configurations. Mm, okay. Well, if you're interested in learning more about Plume and those configurations, there you go. So let's go. Timeline. Decentralized social network. Ah, uh, documentation. Let's just see. All right, solid social looks a lot like Facebook and VK, which I find kind of interesting. I wonder which one you are actually based after. This book is a stub. Please help improve this documentation by forking the Git book and adding content. All right, so you've got your, the gallery here, your profile management. Oh, and this looks like something else I've seen as well. I forget what it was. Something on the Ethereum website. Um, decentralized social networking. You can store your own data. You have profile management, status updates, liking posts, commenting on posts. Decentralized social graph. Uh, that ought to be interesting. Adding friends and friend requests, inbox, search, tagging, image upload, instant messaging, semantic inbox, uh, privacy control on all data, open-ended access to data, app platform, web payments, and 100% compliant with those standards. The open W3C. Oops. I didn't want to close it just right then. Um, Let's see, you can do, oh interesting, you can do payments, alright, see work in progress, if you want to go to virtualwallet.org slash paper, and uh, Melvin's paper is there, that's his document ID, what happens if I click on that link, webid.im paper, And I'm not patient enough to wait for that. Okay, so that gives a lot of technical information. Overview user guide, profile management. That was the one with the gallery. There we go. There's the other photos. What happens if I click the link? Solid mess log in to read your messages. Okay, and it but it does not allow me to log in. Okay. So we have instant messaging. Planned feature of social solid social current work progress is here. Uh, that's the same one, isn't it? Yeah. App platform. Hmm. Okay, I kind of like the flow of that. It's very simple. Webappmarket.org. What comes up for that? And nothing. Okay. So let's try this one. Is the payments. So if I go, oh, I see, go this way. Screenshots. 
Yeah, very, very similar. Which will help a lot of people transition over from Facebook and VK and things like that. Okay. Nothing too spectacular though. And screencasts. You can add those as well. So that's Git Book. Alright, so there's Solid Social. Definitely a work in progress. We have the Markdown Editor. So, use it here. GitHub flavored. Alright. Ah, okay, so keyboard commands. And that's all. That's everything that it gives us. So, you can go ahead and study those. if I actually do that. Whether I do. Success, you're logged in as... Alright, control S. Control O. Ah! Oh my. So please enter name of file to load. Sure, let's do that. One. down. That's interesting. I don't know a whole lot about what I could do with it. I'm not going to try to edit anything right now with that. But Tweefy, Tweefy I thought was kind of cool. I already downloaded the uh, Chrome extension and Tweefy, you can take any tweet URL and rate it. So I'm going to go to my Twitter. And since I already installed uh, the the uh, Chrome extension, you can see right here I have the Tweefy link underneath every single tweet. So click on that, and it allows me to not only view the tweet. I'll give it a moment; it's still loading. And you can write what the tweet was about, what did they claim, what is your review of the tweet, Re rate the truthfulness of the claim. So I will put five stars. But even though I had entered text, so they claimed stuff, yes. But it does not save it, which is fine. See view reviews, and yeah, it does not save any of them. Write a new one. What about 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 Tweefy? Oh, right here under the about is where you can get the add to Chrome. So this ought to be interesting. Um, who is Facts Mission? If you've never heard of them. There you go, fax mission. And that is somebody that I should definitely research a little more. Yep, uh, distinguishing facts from lies. I love that. I love that. Okay, so I digress. That is Tweefy. Close all that. And finally, we have the game, the 2048 game. The only thing is, is there's no game. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to clone the repository, and maybe I can play it from there. But, let's see, is it the same thing? Oh, <laughs> there you go. I feel silly. So, you can actually play the game right here. And, let's see, start the game. What's the object of the game? Uh, who has a high score? I'm curious. Melvin, of course you have the high score. Alright. So, what do I do? Oh, is this supposed to be like, like, mines, landmines, or whatever on Windows? I never played that game. 
I don't know what it's doing. I don't know how I'm controlling it. It's gotta be like landmines or something. Cause I am just randomly clicking in lots of different spots. Hey, but I scored two. <laughs> Are you supposed to get two fours together? Or I can't... Oh, I see. It's an addition game. So if I take, click on the two and I drag it to the four, no. Two plus two to equal four. Two plus two to equal four. Oh, 16. Can I do that? Oh, interesting. This is cute. I could actually potentially get addicted to this. So if I do 16 and 16, does that equal 32? It does. So it just keeps going up and up. All right. Well, I won't do this too much. Just scooch it up. I see how it goes. Move solid. Can I do that? Can I do that? Ooh. Can I do that? Up? Down? Nope. It'll move everything around. Oh, wall. There you go. Bam! Two plus two, four plus four, two plus two, eight plus eight, sixteen plus sixteen. No afraid, but I can't do two plus sixty-four. Okay, so interesting. I'm going to play that a little more. So that is up and running. If you feel like playing around with that, down here they're listing um, a wish list for different types of apps and there's no clickable thing but so a sign up app what's the solid sign up is that okay that's the technical part of it we've got people slash group picker plus ACL manager we've got a welcome app um, profile editor is that the same link to the github yes it is just to make sure, because you never know, sometimes people forget to change links, and it is the same one. Okay. Let's see, so an admin app, a dashboard app, the general wish list, um, friends app, add remove with QR codes, okay, calendar app, somebody did an example, toast UI. That would look nice. Mappers, all right. Consensus app for creating decisions similar to a poll. I like that. That would be fun. Presence app, check-in location app, chat app, photo album, paste bin clone, file share app. We've got discus clone. We've got hospitality preference, bookmarking, clone of 750words.com. I don't know what that is. Welcome to a little thing called 750 words. What is this site about? Learning a new habit. Writing every day. Oh, this would be cool. Okay, I won't bore you with that, but I'm going to check that out later. Uh, clone of JS Paint. Okay, yeah, like Windows Paint. Uh, so mind app, markdown app, presentations, and a news app. All right, so if you can think of other things, you could probably get those added to the wish list. But that is where the apps are at right now. Um, and my next one, I had a wonderful person who actually uh, replied to my conundrum that I was having the other day where I could not get the sample app loaded. Um, and <laughs> it's apparently a simple fix, which I had already seen and didn't realize that it would be the fix, but I needed to change the directory um, to CD and then New World Optimus and then do the NG rig. So I'm going to go do that and see if I can make a better video with the sample application there. Thanks so much for watching and uh, happy exploring.